Hey you guys, Nathan back with another video. Today I'm sharing with you how to edit and preserve photos in Photoscape X. This is a question that was asked by one of the individuals who are watching my videos and put a comment in and even emailed me a question. She has some different photos. I'm going to show them to you here. I asked her permission if I can show them. But basically she has like this collage and she's kind of wanting to do some kind of a business where she's editing different photos or preserving different photos but there's problems with what she is uh, editing and trying to preserve because these photos sometimes are mashed together and she wants to be able to separate them out into individual photos and the question is what is the best way to do that so let's begin and let's also take a look at some of the attempts that she made uh, she used uh, the clone stamp tool she also used the healing brush and maybe some other tools as well and here are some of the results that she got so here's the um, original photo uh, so you have the original photo here so there's five different photos in here uh, the next photo you have here is this one um, doesn't look like there's too much editing going on there um, you have let's see you have this next one this is her cropped it out and tried to make these lines of the border back to where they needed to be. This is one where it definitely seems like there was some problems with some of the editing, some of the different things that just didn't seem to work the best. Um, but yeah, those were the four different images she sent over. She's like, I'm trying to get this thing looking right. I'm trying to make it work well. And how do you, you know, fill in the dots where some of the stuff is missing? Uh, so let me kind of walk through how I would uh, look at doing that. So let's begin. All right, so uh, let's take um, one that would be looked at as maybe a harder image to do. Um, or we could start with the easier one. So let's start with the easier one. Okay, so we're going to start with this top one. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm just going to free crop. And I'm just going to crop uh, the object that's needed here. And I'm going to crop it a little bit extra so I can do some changes with it. So I'm just going to crop that. Of course, I'm not going to save over and lose the uh, the original image. You know, obviously this is a pretty small image. There's not a ton of detail in here. Uh, but let's see what we can do. So first we're going to straighten the image out. Uh, and I'm just going to see if I can get the image to be as straight as possible. And actually that uh, I think works pretty well. Uh, we're going to uh, go in and continue to just crop it to the correct size of just the image itself. And one thing that I want you to remember is that when you're doing kind of restoration, uh, image restoring and things like that, uh, you can remember that some people, most people are not going to remember the exact original image. So if you make small modifications, you know, you're probably going to be okay. So just with some cropping and with some straightening you can make things look a whole lot better there might be ways to like adding in magic color or going into some different um, different filters um, or some overlays and things maybe you can make uh, the image itself look better to a certain extent by uh, adding some different things in here as you can see what's happening in this photo, so you got these uh, two guys, and I think there's a dog in the background, you have these three kids, and it's the question of like, okay, cool, what's the context of the photo, things like that. It's a guessing game unless you know what's actually happening. So that's a pretty simple one. Uh, but how would you go about doing some of these uh, more difficult ones? Uh, well, first let me just hit save as, save me this to desktop, and we're just gonna do, okay, that's the first image. All right, so we're just going to revert all the way back here and go to the second image this one's going to be a bit harder because if you want to actually be the full image there's a lot that's been taken out so uh, we're going to just crop over here and we're just going to take a big swath here how do you make this work well if we're rotating um, we're going to want to whoa that's a lot of a rotation very large rotation let me uh, go back and hit straighten again Okay, straight to not rotation. Okay, here we go. Uh, I wish I was able to kind of zoom in a bit more on this rotation thing, but I've been able to make that work. Um, 
usually you're not zooming in something that's so low res. And that's probably why they have it that way. So if we're saying that this is the edge and this is the edge, we say that's the edge and that's what the border of the image, image is, how do you make the rest of it, you know, look normal? Well, first of all, what you need to remember is you can paint, which is a great thing that you're able to do in here. You're able to repaint the borders. So let's say you're going into here to the tools and you're hitting this spot heal tool and you go to large, and you know, you're spot healing away some of this different stuff. So it's more ground. Um, and obviously it's probably not going to look as good as uh, what the original looked like. Um, but that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to just remove kind of the eyesore of all those different photos uh, just getting in its way. So um, you're doing that and uh, this edit, you know, you're like, okay, it looks good, but where's my border? How do I add that back in? And you can use clone stamp, you can use these different tools. But what I would honestly just do is I would say, hey, I can go into here to insert and I can insert a uh, filled in text box, uh, a filled in uh, block. And what I can do is I can select a color that is of that block. And I can go and I can go put this along the side. And I can make it the same width as the other thing. If I want to look, you know, really the same, I could actually bring across the entire side. And it actually ends up looking pretty good. I could just copy, hit duplicate. Whoopsie. Sorry, I can hit duplicate in here. I can pull it up. I can rotate it around. All right. And I could have just made a whole new line if that might have been easier, but you know, you live and learn. Okay, so you do that and you just make it the size that you want and all that. Um, one thing that I could I could recommend to you is maybe you would crop it where there is no border and then later you'd go into frames and you would just um, add the border on at a later time, uh, but that's neither here nor there. I think this ends up looking pretty good. You can add a little bit more of a board if you want it to be the same on all three, on all four sides. So uh, that's what I would do. Another thing to do is like if you're seeing different things and it doesn't look exactly right, what you can do is go into uh, tools and go into the draw tool or the scatter tool or different things in here and get some different brushes uh, where you're able to go and select a color in here let's say I'm selecting the color like that back wall I can go in and I can just brush some different things kind of get the color and I can change the different strength and the hardness and things like that so I can just you know make some little adjustments if I didn't want something in the image or if I wanted to just make it look a little bit better so you can remove different things and add those different brushes to make it look a little bit more realistic and changing different colors can be helpful as well uh, but that's what I would do. I would probably just leave it at that because really you're gonna you're not gonna be able to like add in a ton more information. You can just remove the eyesores and kind of just leave it at that. Saying, hey, here's these uh, three boys and they're working on the farm or they're out playing just as friends or something like that. Um, obviously, you can make that different change, a different edit, um, and see where that goes. But you know that's what I would have. That's what I do, would do for uh, number two. All right, now if I'm going back again, we're looking at some of these other ones. Uh, I'm just going to say this right now. The two bottom ones are pretty straightforward as far as what you would do to edit them. As far as this one here, this one, this is the one that's kind of fun. This is the one that kind of got my attention. I'm like, okay, this would be a little bit on the challenging side. So it's pretty much centered uh, as far as straight. It's pretty much straight already. Um, so I think I can just, you know, crop just this and kind of have to guess where you're going to end that photo. Okay. And I'm going to tighten this in, tighten this in I'm gonna call that there. Okay. How do you remove all this stuff? Okay. Uh, the problem is, is you know, it's going to be challenging. Obviously what's the important part? Well, what you got here is you've got these windows, you got this mom hugging, her son or hugging this boy. And the question is, okay, how do you fix it? Um, 
the problem is there's just so much going on like in my mind I was thinking oh yeah I could go to this insert thing and I could get the uh, color of the window and I could like paint another the rest of the window in and maybe I could get some different stuff in here uh, really it's something where it just ends up being very hard to make it look completely natural just because there's so many things involved it would take a lot of time a lot of thoughtful um, placements and things but let me kind of show you how I could potentially do that so this is something that's going to be using the uh, that's going to end up be using uh, Photoscape the Pro uh, version so I for this video uh, and I was going to do it anyways but I said hell okay, I will go and I will purchase the full version because now I definitely needed to be able to showcase this specific uh, thing so basically you hop in here um, and you're saying okay how do you fix this well in the pro version one thing that's really cool is you do have the clone stamp tool with the clone stamp tool you are able to click on an object and you're able to paste it on another place so if I was going to click on this person's head I can go paste their head way up here on the ceiling you know you can do all sorts of crazy stuff and there's some great uh, things that I love to teach with it it's a lot of fun uh, but basically you can click an area like this I can go and paste it on another location and I'm able to rebuild and make it look like there is a whole nother window and that there's nothing you know blocking this uh, this thing and it's a pretty convincing kind of fake it's a pretty convincing thing you're able to do and it looks pretty solid you know in most cases it looks like something that yeah, you could probably fake that and you could probably make it look like oh yeah the windows just keep going and stuff um now as fun as this is being able to you know uh, make that window you know go from you know totally blocked to you look at it and you're like oh wait that actually looks like it's coming into shape what i would do is i would say hey you could spend a lot of time peeling back some of the things really working hard to rebuild the couch cushion or different things but honestly make the edits that are needed and in my personal opinion uh, get to the place where you're able to crop a decent size portion of the image and say hey if you really want it to where it needs to be you could crop it like that and you end up with still the kind of image that you're looking for you just don't get oh you can't really see the ceiling and then you can't get as much of the setting so if it is super important you can rebuild those different things uh, but simply put that uh, these different editing tips can help to straighten things, help to add in different borders or able to repair certain things or be able to take away uh, objects you don't want. Uh, but really at the end of the day, it's something that if there's a ton going on, so much detail to reconstruct, it's just going to take a long time. And I don't want you guys to spend too much time on those different things. So if it does end up where you're working on this collage, and there's just so much detail so much stuff going on sometimes you have to cut your losses and say hey you know what what if i were to take this photo you know of course listing all the names of who's gonna who's in the photo and different things but something where you're able to look at it all at once that's really cool and if you are able to parse those photos out just understand there's limits to how much you're able to do unless you're willing to put in a lot of extra time uh, but you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video was helpful of how to uh, kind of edit and restore photos, not only to destroy uh, those different images, but how to preserve them, how to make them look a little better, um, and we can dive in more into filters and different things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!